visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Eagle Runner Bill here. Now we're going to try to get this tractor running. It hasn't ran in seven or eight years. What we're doing here is bleeding the fuel lines. When I went to bleed the fuel lines, remember, I'm brand new at this. This is info, not instruction. But make sure your valve is open on the bottom of your tank. On top of your fuel filter, you got a bleed screw. I just open that and let the fuel start coming out. And then I shut it. On your fuel controller, you got another bleed screw. I open this with somebody on the starter and the motor turning. On the fuel filter, I just open it and let gravity do it. On this one, I open it with the engine turning and close it with the engine turning. On your fuel injectors, your little B-nuts for your fuel lines, I'd crack them open while the engine was turning, wait the fuel start coming out, and then I'd tighten them back up. And I did it for each fuel injector, each cylinder. Pump that engine, wait the fuel starts coming out, and then shut them. And it worked. Finally got it started. And it's cranked up and ran beautiful ever since. As soon as the motor was rolling, I was checking for leaks, checking for hot spots on the engine. Like I said, this motor hasn't run in seven or eight years or maybe longer. Everything checked good, but that was a lot of work for my starter and battery. If I had to do this again, I'd find some way to get fuel and then fuel lines before I started trying to bleed it. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.